And Virginia's Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears served in the Senate for the first time. She's making history as the first woman of color elected to statewide office in Virginia. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFisco sat down with Sears one on one and she's live at the state capitol tonight with that interview. Jackie. Hey, Eric. Well, her debut on this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday is fitting timing for the new Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears for more reasons than one. She takes office as the debate over race and education is coming to a boil. I can't ever escape Martin Luther King Jr. in my life. In Jamaica, it was my job to dust his picture on the wall. My father came to America just what, 17 days before he gave his I have a dream speech. Today, another milestone for Virginia's new Lieutenant Governor Winsome Earl Sears on a day celebrating the civil rights icon. For the first time, Earl Sears taking the Senate podium. The Senate will come to order. After becoming the first ever woman of color sworn into a statewide office in Virginia history. Do solemnly swear. The first black Republican woman and female Marine veteran to serve in the House of Delegates sitting down with us in the old Senate chamber to reflect on another historic election. People who look like me never could have imagined that I could be sitting here second in command of the former capital of the Confederacy. That's unheard of. We acknowledge that. The words of Dr. King evoked in Governor Glenn Youngkin's first executive order, seeking to ban critical race theory in public education. The degree to which it's currently being taught, if at all, is disputed. Democrats on the campaign trail called that a racist dog whistle. What's your response to that? Uh, yeah, it's tiresome to respond to them uh, because it is there. The order directs the removal of curriculum and cultural competency training, promoting, quote, inherently divisive concepts. Do you believe that racism shaped the laws of this state, of this nation, and should students be taught that in schools? We acknowledge that there was Jim Crow laws, even after, you know, we won the battle against slavery. We acknowledge that there was segregation. We acknowledge all of this. Let's also acknowledge that we are not there anymore. Let's acknowledge that we're moving ever forward to a better and better America. Earl Sears not directly responding when asked if she believes systemic racism is currently a reality, but she does believe education is the gateway to opportunity. It's why her campaign focused on fully funding historically black colleges and universities and providing vouchers so parents can seek alternatives to public education, but some raising concerns that expanding charter schools will increase segregation and pull funding from public schools. That to me is the real racism. Your child must only attend this zip code school and this one alone, you have no other choice. How dare anyone relegate a child to a failing school? Now looking ahead, the new lieutenant governor may have the opportunity to cast tie-breaking votes in the Senate. As a skeptic of marijuana legalization, an opponent of abortion, and a Second Amendment supporter, Earl Sears may just be the deciding factor in some hot policy debates this session. Live at the Capitol tonight, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.